Hi everybody, this is Paul Byrne from Rosoyo, and I'm on a mission today, uh, an important one to help small local business and uh, to see what we can do to, to help them save their businesses and survive the COVID virus outbreak. One of the things that I know is that uh, many people in the small business and especially the small local businesses either do not have an online presence um, or uh, if they do, they don't have transactional websites. So I'm gonna give you some ideas about how to get online quickly, and this can be done in a few hours or less. Not everything I'm gonna tell you is either gonna be possible or legal based on the orders in your local area. And I know different uh, definitions of lockdown have been uh, put in place, so, uh, or maybe quarantine. Um, it may also depend on the type of business you're in. So please, please, you know, find out what your local laws tell you and follow your local laws. Uh, if anything in here contradicts this, you know, just, just please ignore it. Before getting started, I want to thank a lot of people uh, involved in the Offline to On initiative. Um, Alan Kent from uh, the e-commerce evangelist at Google, Devante, and a host of other folks. Really too many to mention that either inspired, informed, or otherwise made this video possible. If you're watching this video on YouTube, please follow the link in the description to the web page where additional information and links telling you how to uh, do some of these things can be there. I will be updating that page um, as new information becomes available and new ideas come on board. There are a lot of people who care about small local business, who are creating resources, volunteering time and ideas and brain power and just wanting to help. If this video and article don't work well for your business, I'm going to post links to these other initiatives that may be more up to speed, that may be more helpful for you. So I'd encourage you not to stop here and definitely you know, use Google. There's a lot of things going on out there. So figure out you know, uh, what you can do and go for more resources than just this. Over the past week, I've been in touch with merchants and agencies from all over the world, including Italy, China, and some others who have been on the forefront. And their recommendations are based on learning, um, and recommendations from some of the people that I mentioned earlier. So here are the basic recommendations that, in the order that I recommend you follow them if you're able to implement them all. So the first thing you need to do is either set up or update your Facebook page. You wanna live stream either on YouTube or some other form. You wanna set and communicate some COVID safe policies. Uh, inform your customers. Um, with either shop signs or a QR code in your window. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about that. Engage your staff, help them to help you to sell online and figure out what they can do uh, to, to spread the word that you are open online and that now you're delivering or, or, or you're otherwise able to uh, provide the products to them. Also engage your best customers. They probably care about you, so engage them as well. Contact those customers via any method you have. You may have phone numbers or email addresses. Um, there may be other ways to get in touch with them. Repurpose your staff. Give them delivery jobs or customer service jobs. Have them answer phones. I have them answer Facebook chats. There are a lot of things you can do with that. Finally, I would say your last step should be to add a store. I'm going to advocate for Facebook store, but there are certainly other options if you are more tech savvy. So let's go back to the beginning and, and start. So Facebook, the first thing you need to do is have a Facebook page. If you do not have a Facebook page, it's time to create one. Use the crisis to motivate you uh, to create a Facebook page. There is a button option on that page that allows you to direct people to contact you or to shop on your store or to do uh, other things, take other actions. Um, make sure you set up that button. That's, that's really gonna be critical. And also, through your messaging on Facebook and your posts, encourage people to chat you either or email you or phone you or give them some other way to get in touch with you. When you are ready to create your Facebook store, simply click the shop link. See the links in the article for more information about this. It's really easy to follow if you're used to filling out forms online or you've used Facebook before. It's pretty simple. It's about, uh, it takes about as much effort as setting up your own personal Facebook profile. And one thing to keep in mind is that most young people don't use Facebook, they use Instagram more. If you have a business Instagram profile, you can actually connect it to your Facebook store. If you don't have one, immediately set up a business profile on Instagram, again, links in the article, and quickly submit it for approval so that you can link the stores and start selling online. 
And don't forget Facebook Marketplace. That's a great place. A lot of people search there uh, for things. So uh, be sure to take advantage of that as well. And that's really as simple as uploading a picture and writing a description and putting a price on what you have. So use all those things. You know, there are a lot of people in your area that are using Facebook or Instagram or other social media. Again, it's that Facebook store. It's so easy to set up that uh, you can you can really do a lot with it in a short amount of time. It's a great way to just get online now. I mentioned streaming video or YouTube, but if you don't have a YouTube account, again, it's time to create one and create a YouTube channel. Um, there will be buttons for this on YouTube. It's super simple to do, and I will click to some uh, blog articles and some videos on exactly how to do that, but it's really simple to do. Um, fill out as much information as you can about your business, including how to contact you on your YouTube channel. Uh, put Even if you're not very tech savvy, you can record a video on YouTube with your phone and upload it with the uh, with the YouTube app, it's it's really pretty simple to do, um, and you can you know if you have merchandise to feature, take video of your merchandise if you can get to it if you can get to your store. Do an unboxing video, um, whatever you can pull off to show off the goods that you have. I would also encourage you on YouTube uh, to stream live. It's easy to do. Post your hours, post them on your Facebook page or your web page if you have one post them on your YouTube channel, let people know that you're gonna be streaming live, you're in your store, you're gonna be showing off, you know, whatever the new products that arrived. Uh, you can answer questions. The streaming video on YouTube allows people to post questions to you um, and, uh, and allows you to answer them. So even if you your local laws require you to work by yourself, you could potentially have you know a remote person that you're working with viewing the comments either on the phone or uh, some other way letting you know what kind of questions people are asking if you're not able to kind of follow everything uh, by yourself but you really need no more than a good smartphone with a camera on it to to accomplish that one other thing i would do is make sure that you're communicating covid safe policies so if you've just introduced delivery, you need to let people know how your delivery is going to work. So let them know, I'm going to drop this off on the door. I'm going to ring the doorbell. I'm going to text you when we're there. We're going to step back, watch, make sure you pick up your package, uh, and you'll never touch anyone. Uh, one of the things that's great about the Facebook store, if you have that set up, is you can take payment over the Facebook store. But remember, there are other ways to take payment. If you have a Venmo account or a PayPal account, use those to your best advantage to get the payments that you need. Uh, you, you know, you're probably not going to be able to use your cash register. I do not encourage you to take credit cards over the phone. That would really be a last resort uh, because of you know security concerns on that. Use PayPal. Use Venmo. Um, if you have Zelle, and, and just monitor those for your transactions so that as soon as somebody hits it, you know you're ready to. You're ready to deliver to the door. Inform your customers. Post information on your door. Order a banner. Um, you know, you may be able to order a banner online to let people know that you are open online and that you're open to phone orders. Obviously, make sure your phone number uh, is in any communication that you hang on your storefront. Or post if people if you get foot traffic. You know, if you're in a big city um, and there will be people. You know, going to the grocery store, going to the pharmacy, going to the doctor. They're going to pass by your storefront. You know, make sure that you have signage there. Put a QR code in there. Again, there will be a link in the article to tell you how to make a QR code that links to your Facebook page or links to uh, your web page or you know Instagram account, whatever it is that you're using to communicate with your customers. The other thing is when we talked about engaging your staff, if you've had to lay off your staff by now, uh, I'm really sorry you had to go through that. A lot of people are hurting in this time, and and I don't mean to, you know, kind of paint this picture that it's all roses and that, you know, everything's going to happen quickly. But even if you've laid them off, if you can in, get in touch with them, um, and you can't afford to bring them on, uh, they may be uh, willing to kind of take whatever arrangement they can get. So maybe you can do a commission structure, or you know, pay for deliveries, or negotiate a new, you know, wage with them just to get them to engage in promoting them the business you know they can answer the chat on your Facebook page you know there's the Facebook messaging you know use that um, and maybe they could again like deliver orders 
uh, answer phones, uh, perform other tasks. You know, one great thing you could do here is you could set up um, a Google phone and that, and that Google phone can be answered from uh, anywhere. So maybe you have people working different shifts, they can answer that phone. Use the tools that are you know, available to you on the internet. They don't really cost anything, or if they do, they, they don't cost that much. Use them to your advantage during this time. Finally, I would say, look out for new opportunities and take advantage for them. Where I'm living in the Dallas area, they are changing the laws and relaxing the restrictions on selling foodstuffs that can normally only be sold to restaurants. You can sell those now to customers. Obviously, like don't break any health codes or, you know, and make sure whatever you're doing is safe. If you have the ability, you know, to, to do that, to resell items that you have and, and think, you know, maybe there's cleaners, maybe there's other things that people can use. You know, those might be things that you don't normally sell, but that people are really looking for right now. So take advantage of those opportunities. Keep an eye on local news, government websites, blogs, and other resources to not only identify these opportunities, but to make sure that you're, you're following what local authorities have instructed us to do. Your, your staff and customers can be helpful as well. I've been amazed. You know, there's this, just this deluge of information that I'm faced with every day. Uh, due to coronavirus. I mean, it's just been, you know, the craziest, busiest time of my life. And yet, you know, I'm always surprised how other people in my business are, you know, sending me links. I'm getting things through Slack and chat and Messenger and so forth that have been crucial for me to be able to save time while I'm understanding what's going on, making sure I'm you know, doing what the health authorities and what the local authorities are asking us to do. Now's really the time for that. If you have any questions, you know, go ahead and, and reach out to Rizzoio on this site with our contact form. form. Uh, I, I'm also gonna send you to the offline2on.com. That's offline number two, on.com initiative. That's a great resource that matches up agencies and merchants. Uh, and you can get either some free or some really low cost help on there. And as more resources become available, I will provide links to those. Uh, there's a lot going on uh, and I know that more stuff is, is rolling out. I've, I've seen all these online initiatives take place. I've been involved in, in several of them. Uh, so appreciate everything you're doing. We hope that when everything blows over, you know, you're still there with us, that, that this is not the end of your business and that you are stronger than ever and, and are able to maybe learn some lessons from, uh, you know, from this crisis that are going to help you to build your business, identify new opportunities. Best of luck.